Okay, so let's continue with the PowerPoint. So these are the characteristics. The descending limb allows water to be reabsorbed back into the interstitial space and then into the blood. Uh, then the ascending loop is impermeable to water and solutes. So uh, water is going to be uh, taken back into the blood and the ascending limb. And it also can be regulated in the collecting duct. Uh, the distal convoluted tubule uh, secretes waste, reabsorbs sodium. The juxtacomerula apparatus releases renin, which is involved in regulation of blood pressure, and erythropoietin, which uh, stimulates production of red blood cells. The collecting duct is the last uh, series of tubules that come from the output into the calyxes and they can ingest uh, the concentration of the osmotic pressure of the urine by reabsorbing water and transporting ions. So urine production is to get rid of waste, urea, creatinine, uric acid, and excess ions. Is that somebody else coming in? Yes. Okay, so we're back to the PowerPoint. So again, the urine production is to get rid of waste, such as, where did I go? Okay, get rid of urea, which is from the metabolism of uh, nitrogen-containing compounds. Uh, creatinine is another product that's generated in the kidneys. Uric acid, which has to be eliminated to prevent major changes in uh, pH of the blood. So I mentioned filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. Let's talk about them again. So blood pressure forces fluid into the glomerulus. And that's where the blood pressure controls the degree and amount of glomerular filtration rate, which is going to lead to the uh, accumulation of filtrate uh, in the glomerular capsule on its way to the proximal convoluted tubule. The blood vessels are going to, the pressure in the blood vessels is going to affect this filtration rate. Uh, renin is a compound since the kidney is uh, monitoring uh, blood pressure. If there's a decline in blood pressure, uh, renin will be released from the juxtaglomerular apparatus, renin will increase blood volume and blood pressure and uh, glomerular filtration rate returns to normal. And we'll talk about all the mechanisms of how if you have a decrease in uh, filtration pressure and blood pressure goes down, how renin release is going to lead to the restoration of the proper blood volume and blood pressure. So 180 liters of filtrates are formed every day, 70 times the plasma volume, and almost all of the fluid must be reabsorbed by the kidney. Only the waste materials, excuse me, only the waste materials are uh, leaving the kidney with some ions. So if you ate a very, very heavy meal of salt and you put tons of salt on your food, the kidney is going to get rid of excess sodium. Okay, so we said that already. Uh, so tubular reabsorption uh, occurs very heavily in the proximal convoluted tubule with the nutrients, sodium ions, and water being reabsorbed. Uh, so when materials are reabsorbed, uh, they end up back into the blood. Uh, also, it secretes uh, waste materials into the uh, kidney tubules, and that leads to secretion, which is how the kidney gets rid of waste. Reabsorption is how it 
uh, continues to reabsorb water and uh, valuable substances, okay? Let's take a little break and I'll be right back. So we're gonna stop recording.